Fleet Pride was formed in 1999. We're the largest distributor of truck and trailer parts in the independent heavy duty uh, aftermarket channel. It was actually a, um, what we call a turnaround. Productivity was bad, um, shrink was really bad, um, you know, processes were bad. When we first walked into Fleet Pride, it was very evident the company was in need of analytics as well as advanced analytics. We brought all the analytics in, then things started to change. When I came to Fleet Pride, we didn't have databases that could be accessed for anybody other than IT or the programs. So we built a data warehouse, we built the IBM uh, Cognos environment for reporting, for analytics, we had SPSS, we had CPLEX. So we built this from ground up. We have fixed supply chain, we have fixed inventory management, we have fixed transportation, we have increased sales, we have increased margins in that years using data science analytics. Reprofiling the building was by far, first and foremost, the biggest impact on productivity. When we first did the warehouse project, we decided to bring some machine learning concept in. We used the optimization algorithm to design where to move this wrong place parts to its right locations. So we took all the parts that you know don't sell in six months or 12 months, move them to the very back of the building and bring all the velocity to the front. So we saw days where we were increasing productivity by double. So huge impact, direct to customer. We don't care about is my model complex or not. I'm trying to solve a problem. So naturally, 60% problems are diagnostics. What happened? Why did it happen? And in the same process, somebody may ask you, hey, can you see ahead of the time? That, that's when we talk about predictive modeling. Cresco helped us with the IBM products. Their staff helped us build those hard models, which were the core to all the stuff we had done with. We started with, with small steps, but making sure that we provide success at every step of the way by starting off with descriptive and then prescriptive and predictive analytics. SPS is the only one allowed to quickly turn around because it does not require any coding. The first model I created is the weight prediction models. So basically through the weight prediction control, they have the idea how many parts or pallets they can put on the truck ship out of this warehouse so they can minimize the shipping cost. We have a project to help their business, the sales representative. We do give them an interactive tools about how to do their B2B sales with recommendations. Just directly tell you how to sell these parts to a specific customers. And in the first months, their commissions have been increased about 30 percent. We have everything in a snapshot in our hand, and we can pull it up whenever we want. Honestly, if you want to be efficient, if you want to be able to drive performance standards, you've got to know the data. It's hard to hold people accountable if you can't give your employees the data, if you can't give your leadership the data to manage their operation. I don't know how you could operate without it.